Here at Summit Labels, we often need to use something called a white plate in order to make your labels all the more amazing. Now, if this term seems a bit foreign to you, I would recommend that you check out our What is a White Plate video before continuing this video. Once you've checked that out, all you need to do is follow along with these steps and we'll have your labels looking the best they can be. Step 1. Open your artwork file. We've already got a file set up with a die line, but if you need some help with that, we would recommend that you take a look at our Create a Die Line video for more information. Step 2. Make a new layer. This layer will be your white plate layer. Step 3. While you have the white plate layer selected, use the rectangle tool to create a rectangle that is the same size as your artwork and bleed. You can also use a custom shape for this, but we're just going to keep it simple for now. Step 4. From here, create a spot swatch called HPI White and set the fill of your white plate box to it. Step 5. Set your white plate layer to overprint fill by selecting it and checking the overprint fill box in the attributes panel. Step 6. Hide your white plate layer. We will bring it back later. Step 7. Create another new layer above the white plate layer. Anything in this layer will show through to the stock. This means that if you're printing on a metallic stock, items placed on this layer will show up as being metallic due to the stock showing up underneath it. This is a great way to add metallic embellishments to your labels. Step 8. Select the artwork that you want to knock out of the white and drag it into your knockout layer. Step 9. Reveal your white plate layer. Step 10. Save your file as a .ai file. Step 11. Relax. Your file is now ready to be sent to our in-house printing experts. Check out our submission tutorials for the next step or take a look at our blog for more information on how to take your labels to the next level.